Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 11th through the 17th of July, 2021. I hope everybody is doing really well. I do want to take a second just to remind you that this is a general reading and it's not going to resonate with everyone. If you find it's not resonating with you, check your other signs and placements and see if those readings might resonate a little bit better. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, there are directions in the box beneath this video, and I'll be happy to help you with that. Um, in a general reading, keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop, and um, the timelines also vary. So, also be sure, guys, that you're not trying to put yourself into a reading that isn't for you. Just take what resonates for you. Leave the rest for someone else, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of Pisces, please? Energy of Pisces. Pisces. Okay. All right, so Pisces, you start out with the Three of Coins. We have the Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. And also coming out together, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse and the Six of Wands in reverse. Okay, so Pisces, um, I can see that you're being very cooperative about something here. It's um, it, it, There's an attempt here to create a very strong foundation, which is nice. Um, and also I can see that there is a, there's a change. There's been a change here in your, your um, emotional fulfillment, which is very good. Um, and it has to do with this three of coins. It has to do with this, this, uh, this cooperativeness, this, um, it could possibly be a contract, but it feels like it's an unspoken contract. For some of you, it may be a, may be a, a it could even be written, but it, there's something that's a contract here. It may be unspoken. It could be like a soul contract even, or it could be actually a, a written contract, but it's bringing you emotional fulfillment and it's a nice change for you. Um, what I will tell you as well is that this is going to, it's going your way. This is, this is a good thing for you. And it is, it is being guided. It's being spirit guided as well, Pisces. Very nice. Um, now, all of that being said, there is also something here that um, there's something that's not being spoken or it's not being spoken truthfully. Um, because you have the Knight of Swords in reverse and that's going to bring a lack of success. So, um if you're not speaking your truth about something, that's that may cause you a problem, Pisces. So be careful about that. And if it's not you, then there there may be a situation that is going on that is not successful. And it's not successful because someone is either not telling the truth or they're not speaking their truth. So we'll we'll clarify that. Okay. Let's see who you're connecting with. Yeah, so you got you got a lot of good stuff going on, but there's something down here, and you'll know what it is. It's something that is not successful right now. So it, it's not successful because either someone's not speaking their truth or someone's not telling the truth. Unless it's you. If this is you, you not speaking your truth, or not being truthful is going to lead to an unsuccessful experience. So be careful. Um, let's see who you're connecting with. Who is Pisces connecting with? Who is Pisces connecting with? Who is Pisces connecting with? All right, so we have temperance in reverse. We have the lovers in reverse. And the three of swords in reverse. 
Okay, so you're dealing with somebody who is going through some kind of a karmic lesson or a karmic cycle. Um, they're unbalanced right now. And the reason that they are unbalanced is because there is a decision that they are not making here. It is a decision in love. It's a very important decision because the lovers is major arcana. And the, it, they're not making a decision. It's like they're trying to be a spectator in their own life. And they can't do that. <laughs> so not making a decision is causing this imbalance. Um, they also have the Three of Swords in the reverse. So there's something that has caused them pain in the past. And I do think that that is healing. Um, there's a there's healing that's taking place with regard to that. It is somehow related to this contract. It's somehow related to this cooperativeness, this this contract, or this um, this base that has been laid for for a new beginning or a um, or for success. So let's see the energy of the, and, and so there's healing, the healing of, of whatever it is that has been painful to them. But nevertheless, there's still a big decision that they're not, they're not making here. Let's see the energy of the connection. Ace of Cups. There it is. Wow. Okay. So... There's been a new beginning in this connection, or there's there's a heck of a lot of love, um, but that's beautiful. That's actually beautiful. It could possibly be for some of you that this is a um, this is a new connection. For some of you, it is. So it's either a new beginning or it's a um, it's a new connection. Um, and if it's a new connection, definitely. Um, definitely know that it's it has been guided it's um it's in divine it's in divine um timing and i can see that it's it's got a nice base it's very healing for this person and it is um emotionally very fulfilling for you pisces yeah it's it's very nice um let me see I'm wondering if the um I'm wondering if this not speaking the truth here has anything to do with this decision though. Um let's see what's directly affecting this connection. Oops, okay. <laughs> the ace of wands. My god, what are you guys up to? Okay, so what's directly affecting the decision? Well, again, this new beginning. And there's a powerful, powerful physical attraction between the two of you. Um, this is a definitely a, a um, enjoyable sexual attraction between the two of you. Um, both of you feel that way. It's shared energy. So there's, there's a, a physical sexual attraction here. Um, there's love here. I mean, this looks nice, Pisces. This looks good. Um... And that's what's directly affecting the connection. So that's beautiful. Uh, yeah, you and you both find each other to be um, physically attractive. You you have this this. It's like a magnetic connection. It's beautiful. Okay, so let's um, let's see. And and let me tell you this as well, Pisces. This person that you're connected with, they have an impatience to be with you. There is an impatience on their side to to be with you. It's almost like um, they can't get enough of you. And not just physically, you know, in the love area as well. Um, all right, so let's see the outcome at the end of the week. All right, so we have the Queen of Swords reversed and we have the Princess of Coins reversed. So what is going on? So you got all this wonderful stuff here, but at the end of the week, what I'm seeing is there's going to be some anger here. And the anger is going to be related to 
um, a lack of an offer somehow. Now it could be it could be related to a very small loss financially um, for some of you. And I feel like Pisces, you're the one who's going to be angry. So you know what I you know what I feel like I feel like you you're going to be angry because there's going to be either a small loss financially or there might be um it might be that this doesn't move along in in the manner that you think it should as quickly as it sh as you think it should it could also be a lack of a communication um but there's going to be something that this person is not going to do in your view properly. So you're going to see this as, as being a fail. And it's going to make you angry. But I think you're going to, I think you're going to keep it to yourself. I think you're going to keep it to yourself. You're going to sit on that, but you're going to be angry. <laughs> so... Yeah. All right. So let me see. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups. This is underlying energy. So this is most likely somebody that has been in your past. Um, so I feel like this is a coming back together. It could also be a past life, um, a, somebody from a past life. So, you know, that's highly probable. Um yeah, this is a deep connection, though. And I'm not really concerned about what I'm seeing at the end of the week because it it's not major arcana. Um, anything that I'm seeing that is major arcana, um, I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune, which is, you know, a really good card. And it's tied in with, you know, absolute emotional fulfillment. And it is in the upright, which tells me that things are going in a positive way for you. Um, the only other major arcana that I'm seeing is the lovers in reverse. And that is that has to do with this person that you're, you're connected with. Um, and them not making a decision of some, point, of some kind with regard to love. And that may be what happens here. So let's go ahead and start clarifying Pisces. Spirit, why is the three of coins here? All right, so we have the death card and we have the eight of swords. Okay, so it looks to me as if some stability has been reestablished after after an ending. So it could have been an ending of a cycle. Um, I I feel like I feel like this is a a ongoing um, relationship because we do have the underlying energy here of the six of cups. So I do feel like this is an ongoing connection. Now, for some of you, if this is a brand new connection, um, there this is a past life you know, scenario. And there may have been an ending, but it would not have been with this person. It would have been a, a previous ending that would have had you in your head. So either way, there was an ending. You were in your head. You were really, you know, it was going over and over and over in your head. And that is ended now. All of that is ended. And there's a spirit of cooperativeness in this. There's a spirit of creating a strong foundation to build upon. Um, why is the Ten of Cups in the Wheel of Fortune here? All right, so we have the Queen of Cups reversed. We have the Page of Swords and the Page of Cups reversed. All right, so I do think that whatever this was that happened um, that has changed, I think that you you had pulled your emotions back. I, I think that you really had kind of pulled yourself back. You weren't offering love. You weren't being very loving at the time. Um, and I think you realized it because we have the Page of Swords here. I, I think that there was some truth that was spoken um, either by you or to you. 
it may have been a little cutting. It might have been a little sharp, but it did redirect things. It, co it created a change. And it was with regard to, to not offering love, to not... And also, someone here doesn't like to apologize. Um, so I'm not sure if you were speaking that or if you received that information. It might have been a little bit of both. Um, but I, I do think that, I do think that some truth was spoken here. It created a change. And that change was that, um, you started offering emotion. You opened your heart back up. And I, I do think that you, you are now feeling emotionally fulfilled here. I think that there's been a change in, in the emotions in this connection. Um, let me have three for the. And three for the um, final. All right, so we have the emperor in reverse. We have the two of coins reversed. And we have the, again, the six, well, no, this is the six of swords reversed. So, hmm, all right, so... With the emperor in reverse, I, I feel as if somebody is maybe being a little controlling. Um, somebody might be a little bit controlling. In trying to take control of the situation, they may be a little bit controlling. It's causing an imbalance. Um, and they're not speaking their truth. Um, it's, it's going to cause a situation where, because it's not successful, there's a, there's a situation where there's a lack of success and it's going to cause, it's going to cause, um, someone to be stuck. I, I want to say, Pisces, that whoever is carrying the masculine energy in this connection is the person who is, um, out of balance. They're a little bit stuck. They're a little bit out of balance. There's a decision, and, and I feel like it's not you. I feel like there's a decision that needs to be made, and they're not making a decision. I feel like it's your person. And I, I also feel like they're stuck. There's a, there's a feeling of being stuck, and that is going to be perceived as being a lack of success, unsuccessful. I think you're going to be angry about it and but I don't think you're going I think you're going to be you're going to shut that down. You're not going to talk about it. I think you're just going to be seething quietly about it. Um let's look at their energy. Why is temperance in reverse? Oh, that is also major arcana. Yeah, I I I failed to see that. That is also major arcana. So yeah, your person does have two major arcana, so it's a bigger deal for them than it is for you, actually. Um, five of swords. Yeah, and the ten of swords. Oh, so they're healing. They're healing here. Uh-huh. Okay, so they're healing, and it, they're he what they're healing from is there was a heated battle between the two of you. It got ugly ugly like ugly and they felt betrayed pisces so your person felt very betrayed now there was ego involved in this there could have been some deceptiveness as well and what is helping them to heal is actually the physical connection between the two of you so the physical connection between the two of you is what is bridging the gap between the healing and the, the love connection. Yeah. Okay, so why is the lovers here in reverse? There's that conflict again. So the conflict was regarding a decision. And there's the Empress. All right. 
So we have the emperor, we have the empress. <laughs> you guys get the, uh, you guys get twin flame energy a lot. <laughs> so, okay. Um, so yeah, there, there is a, the conflict has to do with this choice. And so I'm seeing that, I'm seeing that the, the masculine in this connection is not wanting to make a choice. It's a choice in love. They're not taking control of a situation. There's a choice that's not being made. And I, I feel as if it has, it, somehow it has to do with the Empress. Or it's creating conflict with the Empress. That's what it is. But there is a, there is a choice that needs to be made regarding love. It's creating an imbalance. And I feel like that's where the conflict is. And that conflict has gotten very ugly in the past. So the masculine energy has felt very betrayed, has felt stabbed in the back. And they're now in the process of healing their energy. Um, what I will tell you, Pisces, is that they need the physical intimacy in order to bridge the gap between you know the 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 love connection and their healing that that physical intimacy is very important and you know it's a bridge for them um why is the three of swords here in reverse again healing again if there's a healing card It hurt them. Whatever this conflict was, I do think it hurt them. So I wonder, you know, I, I feel like words were spoken that were very, very sharp. Um, yeah, and I see that there was a shutdown. We have the King of Cups in reverse, and we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. So they shut down, you shut down. Um, you're both perfectly paired, but um, so this is definitely a divine connection. Um, because we have the emperor, we have the empress, we have the king and the queen of cups, um, all these pairs. And so I, I feel like there was a complete shutdown and, and an ending. Um, and it, it definitely caused them a lot of pain. And now they're healing from that. Okay, so let's look at... So they're really focused on healing. That's a big deal for them right now. You're you're feeling you're you're further along in this process than they are. So why is the Ace of Cups here? Oh, yeah, you were hurt as well. You've got the both of you have the 3 of Swords. So and you're still experiencing some hurt here. I feel like you, you've just decided um, that the connection is more important, though. Um, but you are still experiencing some pain. Um, the person you're connected with, when they pulled back, I think that they pulled back to try to find some answers. And I do feel like they have found some answers. Communication has resumed between the two of you. Um, and the, the connection has resumed as well. There's a new beginning in this connection. There is a lot of love here, but the, whatever this conflict was, and it's associated with a decision that the masculine is not making. Um, both parties have been hurt, but I'm going to tell you now that the masculine has felt betrayed, and this has had a deeper effect on the masculine. Um, why is the Ace of Wands here? King of Swords reversed. And the Ten of Coins reversed. Okay, so just to throw out there, you could be dealing with a water sign, um, which would be a, a, a fellow water sign, which would be a fellow, um, um, a fellow Pisces or a Scorpio or Cancer. Um, but you could also be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Gemini, Strong, uh, 
let's see, you also have um, Strong Libra, um, Taurus is present, uh, let's see, Sagittarius is present, Gemini is again very strong, um, Aries, so Scorpio again, yep. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead. Okay, so let me let me. What is directly affecting the connection is again the new beginning and also the the physical aspect of the beginning. Um, like I said, for the masculine, the physical um, aspect is is a great deal of the the healing. It's a it's the bridge that the masculine needs in order to access the emotional um part of the connection i don't know if that um, makes a lot of sense but um that's 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 what i'm hearing it, it they need that um and so this new beginning in order to have this new beginning i i do think that it, it was necessary for you, Pisces, to deal with the anger. So there was anger. And, and you were perceiving as your person is very angry. Um, your person was dealing with the ending of what they considered to be a very long-term connection, a very prosperous connection that they had invested a lot into. So... Both of those things have to be have to be addressed and dealt with. Um, there, there's a lot of passion in this, but there's also some things that have to be dealt with. There could also be a financial loss that was incurred here, and that that needs to be addressed. Um, for some of you, that's present. Um, this is going to be a a passionate discussion um, because there, it, it can get angry. It can get a little angry. So be aware of that. Um, let's see what's going on down here because what I'm seeing here is more anger. <laughs> and again, we have that perfect pair on the board. We have both the king and the queen of swords, both angry. So I think that it's both of you are experiencing some anger in this connection. So let's uh, let's look at the outcome. I, I feel like there's going to be a very passionate discussion here. Um, but when as soon as I say that, then I'm reminded, the spirit reminds me that you're not gonna you're not gonna participate. You're gonna hold it. So I, I caution you about that, um, Pisces, because you don't want to sit on your anger. Um, let's see. Can I get three for the outcome? All right, so let's see. Okay, well, that's good. You have the seven of wands in the reverse. That's nice. Uh, three of coins reversed. And then we have the lovers. Okay, so... So the good news is that there is going to be you, you're the two of you are going to overcome these problems, um, and that's good because with the seven of wands in the reverse, that tells me these are going to be overcome. Um, I do think there's going to be anger, and I think that I think that Pisces, you're going to feel angry about this, if and you're going to overcome that. Um, your person is going to make a decision. They see you definitely as a soulmate. I mean, this is definitely a divine connection. Um, and so they will make a decision. Um, the, the thing that does concern me a little bit is that I feel like this anger, whatever this situation is, it is going to destabilize this foundation because here... Your first card out was the Three of Coins, which is that cooperative attitude. It's that stability that was in play. Um, and I do know that you're going to overcome the situation, but I think it's going to destabilize this. It's going to destabilize this cooperative attitude, this, um, this, 
this uh, foundation because it's coming up in the reverse. So, you know, here's what I would say, Pisces, is that even though you may be angry, I would, in a loving way, I would speak your truth. You need to speak your truth, but in a loving way. And also be open to hearing what your person has to say as well. Okay, because you want to work together cooperatively to resolve any residual issues so that you don't take a step backwards into that complete split that you had from before. So, all right, so bottom of the deck, we do have the chariot in reverse. Which tells me that, you know, the underlying energy here is that you guys are feeling a little stuck. The energy is a little bit stuck here. It's not moving forward successfully. It does have to do with this decision and the anger and how you guys are processing it. Um, so there's a cycle that ended. This is a new cycle. But there's residual energies from, from before that needs to be processed, and it needs to be processed correctly. So, I do see you overcoming this, though, but in, in overcoming it, if you see where the energy is going, then that gives you the opportunity to, you know, look at how you're handling things or, you know, how they might be handling things, where the energy is going, so that you can affect the energy in a positive way. All right, so let's go ahead and pull from the Lover's Oracles and see what Spirit might have to say. Spirit, I'm pulling for Pisces. Pulling for Pisces. Okay. All right, so for you, Pisces, it says look inside yourself and examine what is causing you to feel this way. So, yeah, so look inside of yourself. Um, there's something that's causing you to feel this anger. It's something that's causing you to feel this way. So look inside of yourself. Get some insight into that. And then for the cross watcher or the person you're dealing with, uh, Pisces, it says reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Okay? So, the person that you're dealing with has to sit back and reflect as well. So, it's very similar energies. I'm not surprised. It's a twin flame um, type of energy here. So, I'm not surprised that there's some mirroring going on there. All right. So, I hope this has been helpful for you, Pisces. Um, if you would, like and share the video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so and drop me a comment. I read all of them. So until I see you next week, namaste.